If you work in Automation Control PLC or DCS and SCADA, understanding what is PLC, DCS and SCADA is important. It's also important to understand what is the difference between them. In this video, we will cover all. Let's start with what is PLC, DCS and SCADA. Let's break down each system, exploring their unique characteristics and applications. Programmable logic controllers, or PLCs, are the workhorses of industrial automation. They are compact, rugged computers used to control machines and processes. PLCs operate on a simple principle. They receive input signals from sensors and other devices. They then process these signals according to pre-programmed logic. Finally, they generate output signals to control actuators, motors and other equipment. Imagine a conveyor belt system in a bottling plant. A PLC can control the speed of the belt, the timing of bottle filling and the application of labels, all based on sensor inputs and predefined logic. Distributed Control Systems, or DCS, take automation to the next level by integrating multiple PLCs and other components. They are designed for large-scale, complex processes that require a high degree of coordination. A DCS typically consists of a central control room with operator workstations. These workstations are connected to multiple PLCs and other intelligent devices distributed throughout the plant. This distributed architecture allows for greater flexibility and redundancy. Think of a large oil refinery. A DCS can monitor and control various processes simultaneously. These processes include crude oil distillation, cracking and blending, ensuring optimal efficiency and safety. Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, or SCADA, systems act as the eyes and ears of industrial operations. They provide operators with a centralized view of the entire process, collecting data from various sensors and devices. SCADA systems excel at data visualization, presenting real-time information on dashboards and graphical interfaces. They also enable operators to remotely monitor and control equipment, set alarms and generate reports. Consider a city's water distribution network. A SCADA system can monitor water flow, pressure and quality at different points. This allows operators to optimize distribution and quickly detect any anomalies. While PLCs, DCS and SCADA systems all play crucial roles in industrial automation, they differ in their scale, complexity and typical applications. PLCs are the building blocks focusing on local control of individual machines or small processes. DCS systems integrate multiple PLCs and other components to manage large-scale, complex operations. SCADA systems provide a supervisory layer, collecting data and enabling remote monitoring and control. Think of it this way. PLCs are like the brains of individual machines. DCS systems are the nervous systems connecting and coordinating multiple machines. And SCADA systems are the eyes and ears providing an overall view and control from a central location. PLC applications from bottling plants to theme parks. PLCs are incredibly versatile and find applications in a wide range of industries. Their compact size, ruggedness and ease of programming make them suitable for controlling various machines and processes. In manufacturing, PLCs are used in bottling plants, packaging lines and material handling systems. They ensure precise control of speed, timing and sequencing, leading to increased efficiency and product consistency. Beyond manufacturing, PEGs control amusement park rides, stage lighting systems and even car washes. Their ability to handle real-time inputs and outputs makes them ideal for these dynamic applications. DCS applications, powering refineries and chemical plants. DCS systems are the go-to solution for large-scale continuous process industries. Their ability to handle a vast number of inputs and outputs along with their robust communication capabilities, makes them essential for critical infrastructure. Oil and gas refineries rely heavily on DCS systems for process control and optimization. From crude oil distillation to gasoline blending, DCS ensures efficient and safe operation of these complex facilities. Chemical plants, power plants and pharmaceutical manufacturing also depend on DCS systems for precise control of temperature, pressure, flow rates and other critical parameters. SCADA applications, monitoring water systems and traffic lights. 
SCADA systems excel at providing a centralized view and control over geographically dispersed assets. They are widely used in industries where monitoring and managing remote equipment is crucial. Water distribution and wastewater treatment facilities utilize SCADA systems to monitor water flow, pressure, quality and tank levels. This allows operators to optimize distribution and ensure a safe and reliable water supply. Traffic management systems rely on SCADA to monitor traffic flow, control traffic signals and provide real-time information to drivers. This helps alleviate congestion and improve road safety. Advantages and disadvantages, weighing the pros and cons. Each automation system comes with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Understanding these trade-offs is crucial when choosing the right system for a specific application. PLCs or programmable logic controllers are cost-effective, compact and easy to program. They are particularly suitable for simple to moderately complex applications such as assembly lines or small manufacturing processes. However, their limited processing power and scalability may not be suitable for large-scale operations. This limitation can be a significant drawback for industries that require extensive data processing and control. Distributed Control Systems, or DCS, excel at handling large-scale complex processes with high reliability and redundancy. They are ideal for industries like oil and gas, chemical processing and power generation. However, their initial cost and complexity can be significant, requiring specialized expertise for implementation and maintenance. This can be a barrier for smaller companies or those with limited technical resources. Supervisory control and data acquisition or SCADA systems provide excellent data visualization, remote monitoring and control capabilities. They are widely used in utilities, water management and transportation systems. However, their reliance on communication networks can make them vulnerable to cybersecurity threats. Ensuring robust security measures is essential to protect these systems from potential cyber attacks. PLC pros and cons, a closer look. In this section, we will delve into the advantages and disadvantages of programmable logic controllers, commonly known as PLCs. PLC advantages, cost-effective PLCs are relatively inexpensive compared to DCS systems, making them an attractive option for smaller applications. They offer a budget-friendly solution without compromising on essential functionalities. Compact and rugged, their small size and robust design make them suitable for harsh industrial environments. These devices can withstand extreme conditions, ensuring reliable performance in demanding settings. Easy to program, PLCs use ladder logic, a graphical programming language that is relatively easy to learn and understand. This simplicity allows for quick programming and troubleshooting, making them accessible even to those with basic technical knowledge. PLC disadvantages. Limited scalability. PLCs are not as scalable as DCS systems, making them less suitable for large and complex processes. As the scale of operations grows, the limitations of PLCs become more apparent. Lower processing power. They may not be suitable for applications requiring high-speed data processing or complex calculations. This can be a significant drawback in environments where rapid data handling is crucial. Uh, limited communication capabilities. PLCs typically have limited communication options compared to DCS systems. This can restrict their integration with other systems and devices, posing challenges in highly interconnected industrial setups. DCS pros and cons examining the trade-offs. DCS advantages, high reliability and redundancy. DCS systems are designed for high availability and fault tolerance, ensuring continuous operation even in case of component failures. Scalability and flexibility, they can be easily expanded to accommodate growing process needs. Advanced control. Capabilities. DCS systems offer advanced control algorithms and optimization tools for complex processes. DCS disadvantages, high initial cost, DCS systems require a significant upfront investment compared to PLCs. Complexity, they are complex systems that require specialized expertise for configuration and maintenance. Vendor lock-in DCS systems can lead to vendor lock-in due to proprietary protocols and software. SCADA pros and cons. The good and the not so good. SCADA advantages. Centralized monitoring and control. SCADA systems provide a centralized view and control over geographically dispersed assets. 
This centralized approach allows for better coordination and management of operations across multiple locations. Data visualization and reporting. They offer powerful data visualization tools enabling operators to make informed decisions. These tools include real-time charts, graphs and maps that present data in an easily digestible format. Remote access and controllers operators can monitor and control equipment remotely, reducing downtime and improving response times. This remote capability is crucial for maintaining operations in remote or hazardous locations. SCADA disadvantages, cyber security risks. SCADA systems can be vulnerable to cyber security threats due to their reliance on communication networks. These threats can lead to unauthorized access and potential disruptions in operations, communication dependency. Their performance is heavily dependent on the reliability and speed of communication networks. Any network failure or slowdown can significantly impact the efficiency and effectiveness of SCADA systems. Limited real-time control SCADA systems are not as responsive as PLCs or DCS systems for real-time control applications. This limitation can be critical in processes that require immediate and precise control actions. Section 13. Conclusion. Navigating the automation landscape. Understanding the differences between PLCs, DCS and SCADA systems is crucial for anyone involved in industrial automation. Each system plays a specific role in optimizing processes, improving efficiency and enhancing safety. PLCs provide the building blocks for local machine control, DCS systems integrate and coordinate complex operations, and SCADA systems provide a supervisory layer for monitoring and control. By carefully considering the requirements of each application, engineers and operators can choose the most appropriate automation system to meet their specific needs. As technology continues to evolve, the world of industrial automation promises even greater advancements in efficiency, productivity and safety. 